Ah, the Cancerians. Here we go. Here we go. The hot spot of the connection cycle. I can feel the energy already. I'm going to start shuffling. All right, we're going to clarify with the witches, which randomly at the bottom has a uh, Queen of Wands, I want to point out. A little fakey McFakerman there. I don't know why. Let's find out. Let's see where we go. For May 2024, for the sign of Cancer, my fourth angle on the fly through, fourth zodiac sign. It's a general reading, may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, especially if you're a Cancerian, you are here for a reason. All right? This reading is timeless. Why? Because I'm not a fucking Time Lord. Exactly. Exactly. I do not have a TARDIS. Wish I did. Uh, so, the May energy bleeds a little bit into June. I made a faux pas on the overview reading, which I figured out on my own, uh, that uh, I, I was talking about the June column of the Q2 reading uh, for, for the year. Uh, rather than the May column. And that, that Freudian slip, you know, happy little accident as Bob Ross taught us is important. It's because Jupiter's energy is dominant this month, but it really centers around toward the end of the month. So we'll keep that in mind. So it, it's a May reading, but it bleeds into the first part of June, we'll say, okay? I'm going to pull a pyramid. I'm still shuffling, my God. Top of the pyramid is how they feel about you, middle, what they think. Right When it gets to their brain, bottom of the pyramid is uh, the final outcome. I'll clarify that, and I'll clarify anything that needs clarifying, and I'll pull some universe cards at the end. Okay? Let's do it. Let's do it here. All right. Give me a soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer from May 2024, universe. Let's go. Let's go. Four wands. <whistles> Overall energy is four wands. Um, what's fueling that? Eight wands. I was going to say it. I should have said it. I would have looked cool. I, you know I didn't know that was there. Uh, another sign had eight wands as the fueled energy too. I forget who. Um, I was drawn to the blue in the middle. That's throat chakra. You're going to have a conversation with somebody this month that's going to escalate very quickly. We go from light blue to dark blue. Very powerful. Chain, life changing for a good number of you. Okay? Communication. It comes out of nowhere. It comes out of left field, as we like to say. You know? All right. <laughs> How does this energy feel about you? This could be a runner. This could be someone holding all the feelings for you that's around you that you have a soul connection with. This could be somebody comes out of the blue that you just have a soul recognition with. Right? Right off. Somebody brand new. I don't know. How do they feel? Ten wands. Wow. Whoever this energy is. Uh, Queen of Cups, big love, big love, right? Wow. Oh, be careful. There used to be a TV show on, I think it was HBO, wasn't it? Called Big Love. It was about that guy who had three wives, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know why that might be important. I don't know. Maybe I'm not saying you're going into polygamy. I'm just saying somebody might be, this person might be expressing their love for you, but they're married. Uh, which is why there's some sort of strain on their expression of emotion. Okay? They feel a lot of love, but it causes a problem. Okay? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you maybe your runner is married, right? Or somebody attached to you has feelings and they're married. Right? That that there's they love you more than they love the person they're with. But that causes a bit of a problem. And I don't think polygamy is an option here. Uh, what's red here? It's red with the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they gotta break free. They they know. Look, it's like I say to myself, I say to you, well, I say to myself, God, I love the DF. I love them. Ah, oh, but shit. I gotta break free from something else first. Fuck. Fuck. That's what's here. Okay, I just acted it out for you. Academy Award winning, probably. Okay. Okay. Wow. A lot of love. What what happens when it gets to their brain? The King of Pentacles. Somebody can't can't play. You're irreplaceable. You're irresistible to this energy. This this energy cannot stop thinking about you. Cannot stop feeling about you. Okay. What else? The Devil. It's a huge. This is because there's a karmic con. There's a soul contract here. There's karma attached here. It's the goat with its feet on fire. <laughs> The fact that they can't, they're obsessed with the fact that they can't replace you, that they can't find you anywhere else. I think they, maybe if it's a runner, they thought they could. They were wrong. 
there's huge, there's a, there's a massive soul contract playing out here in May with whoever the fuck this is. And this is one specific energy. Wow. Probably somebody where their love for you, which is huge, is the most love I can pull from the deck right here in the base energy of how they feel. There's some reason it's a problem. It's an issue. Okay. That's something they need to clear up first before they can express this. But the obsession is in the, in the, but the obsession is there because somebody realizes that they can't find you anywhere else. And, and if you get away, oh fuck, what am I going to do then? Then they're stuck with whatever this strain is that they want to break free from. Okay. What's the potential final outcome? It's red with the queen of cups. Five swords. So, yep, it's what I said. It's why I brought up big love. This is red with the queen of cups. Like I said, it's the final outcome. It's five swords. We had a reading recently that had a five swords as a final outcome. I don't remember what it was. May have been the Mercury Direct. I don't know. I forget. You guys know. Um, yeah, it's somebody shortcutting this here. They, they, they're just, this is almost a, it becomes, because the devil is here, because of this, and they can't replace you, somebody finds a shortcut to be able to come in and talk to you. But again, they might be attached. There's a complication here. So keep that in mind. They might lie. This can cause people to lie. This can cause people to say, yeah, yeah, I'm free. I finally uh, divorced so-and-so. It's a lie. Okay? Know it. Or there's something false about it. False victory here. Okay? But, it is, but this is communication. I believe it. Oh, I believe it. And that's why I showed you Fakey McFakerman. Before we even started, I said there's some... There's a wall here. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, something they're putting out, and the truth is underneath. It's right here. All right. Well, let's let's placate. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this love first. Tell me about the love here that they have for my viewer. Feelings, 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 feelings. If this is a new soulmate, somebody who just pops in out of nowhere, a new soul recognition, it's a love at first sight energy. They'll say anything to get your pants down. Anything at all. Okay. I believe it. In this month's energy, I fucking believe it. All bets are off in May, I'll tell you. It's a deep energy. But I think the depth is felt mostly on the DF side. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Tell me about the Queen of Cups. What do you want to tell me about the Queen of Cups? Hmm? Tell me something. Wow. Um, it's crossed by the Five of Pentacles. Uh, the love itself, the environmental energy around it is a winter energy. In other words, when they feel it, it's, it's like a pit in the stomach kind of thing. It makes you, it, it just, I cannot miss out on this. I cannot miss out on this. It's a FOMO, fear of missing out type thing. I cannot miss out. And that's, that again ties right to this devil, right? For sure. Okay. For, for reasons I've already explained. What's on top? The magician. It's a very transformative love. It is. But it's also a smoke and mirrors here. There's something they're not telling you. Okay? There's something. It's the reversed energy of the trickster. It's something they're not telling you. Why is the magician here in the smoke and mirrors aspect? The Queen of Wands. What did I say? I showed it to you already. I've showed it to you twice. I said there's a wall here of pretense. There's something they're telling you and there's something they're not telling you. And it directly relates to this, this problem that they need to break free from. But I don't think, I don't see that they do. I see that somebody here realizes that they can't find you anywhere else. And it, it, it's that energy of everybody wants to bang the empress. And sometimes you just lie your way into the pants. But you need to be a little sharper than that. Your energy is able to spot, is, is able to see through this. Not just because of the reading I'm giving you. And we do have a false victory here. And this is why. These are red together. Okay. All right. Well, let's pull on the Ten of Wands. Let's pull on what the problem is. So what's the problem here? Hmm? What do they need to break free from? I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about that. Hmm. that and, and, and why did I say? You might say, well, Steve, isn't that liberation? Don't, don't they, aren't they single and free to pursue? Another reader I watch always says single and free or, or they're, they're getting themselves loose or independent or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You, you would think that, right? Ten, nine. That's a reduction. All right? Somebody breaking free. Somebody not breaking free. Somebody needs to break free, but I don't see that they do it. All right? That's why. We get a reduction. These two are red together, but they're red. the flow is here, here, here. All right. 
but you go ahead and interpret it all how you want. There's all kinds of people out there that reinterpret the energy that I'm reading. <laughs> Look at hilarious. You know, is it, it, it you can do it though, I don't care. Do it if you want to think that, that's fine. But wishful thinking will get you into trouble. I try to give you the reality, you know, rather than put some wishful thinking out there. I'm not here to get anybody's hopes up. You are getting communication. It's just there's something they're not telling you. The Queen of Wands came back again. And this is smoke and mirrors, right? But the love itself, is a, they don't want to miss out on it. That's what the devil's doing here. It gets to their brain. They start coming up with all sorts of ideas. Well, I can't replace them anywhere. They're eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. They do show up. What's this? What's the complication? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Now, let me focus. I'm all done explaining the energy here to people. What's going on? Ten of Wands. Why is it here? <laughs> it's crossed by the chariot. Mm. Mm. Ah. It's a forward moving energy. It's somebody here who's glazing over this. Chariot tends to, if you think of a chariot, right, it rides by in the street. You see it in movies sometimes. It goes by really fast. Actually, chariots used to kill a lot of people back in the Victorian times and stuff like that. People get run down by them because they just blow through town. There were no speed limits, right? That kind of thing. Somebody here is glazing over this. They don't even want to deal with it. What's on top? King of Pentacles. Mm. <sighs> Why is the King of Pentacles here before I open my mouth? Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody here has something else that they're giving to. Something they need to break free from. And they're continuing to give to it. They're continuing to give to whatever their life is. All the while not wanting to miss out on the feelings for you. So they're shortcutting a communication here. This is more likely a newer soulmate. Okay? Somebody around you holding on to feelings that just can't take it anymore. Uh, or somebody new that you meet. Either way, there's something they're not telling you. That Queen of Wands came up. All right? They're still, I'm telling you, they're still continuing to give to that. So if you decide you want to bang this person because you think they're hot and you feel it too, okay, that's fine. But know that there's something they're not telling you. Okay? Do what you want. It's just a tarot reading. Right? It's just, just Steve, a talking hand. Right? Okay. But it is what it is. Let's pull on the devil. Why is the devil here? <laughs> we have to clarify the devil. We have to. We have no choice. Why is the devil here? Tell me about the devil. Now this could be the runner who tells you, oh, I finally left so-and-so, right? That's not true. That so-and-so, they're still given to that. Whatever it is, it's still there. Careful. The DM side looking for shortcuts. They always do. Because, the, because putting in the work is hard. Sure it's hard. Anything worth doing is. DF side is putting in the work. That's to be applauded. Okay? Big time. Why is the devil here? Yeah. Uh, it's crossed by the king of swords. My king of truth. How do you have the king of truth crossing the devil? Somebody is speaking a necessary truth. Okay? That's what that means. Usually a truth that benefits them. The devil's very selfish, one-sided, right? It's the energy that whispers in your ear. It says, go ahead, just have a drink. You can just have one. It's fine. It's very selfish. It wants to just feed itself. It's negative energy. It feeds itself. And with it, if you can give it a little energy too, it likes that. So somebody here is acting on a truth that suits them. What suits them? To get your pants off. That's what suits them. I mean, it's just... You don't have to take me literally, just catch my drift. There's a huge a lot of love here. They don't want to miss out on it with the Five of Pentacles that was crossing. So there's something they leave out. It's a lie of omission. What's on top? Six of Swords. Yeah. Uh, whatever soothes the uh, obsession, whatever soothes the horniness, whatever soothes the passion, whatever soothes this, whatever needs to be said, say, what, say whatever needs to be said. It's not John Mayer's say what you need to say. It's say whatever needs to be said. Right? It's the more devilish version of that song, I suppose. The B-side. Why is this uh, Six of Swords here? The Two of Wands. Right. Worry about the consequences later. Right? Do it. Set, set the intention. The intention is set. Whatever, whatever suits them, fine. Worry about the consequences later. Let's just do it. Let's, let's take care of it. Right? Okay. 
Let's, well, you know what? Let's pull on the king of, of, of pentacles because this is what they think about you. And I'm curious because you're irreplaceable. So why, why is this such a big deal? Why is that devil there? Why, why do we have to be devious? Why do we have to do that? You know, why do we have to leave something out? Right? Well, maybe I don't have to leave this. Maybe I can keep giving this and give to this. I don't think so. I think my DFs will pick up on that. You know, you guys often reflect as Empress energy. It's pretty hard to fool the Empress. Everybody wants to bang the Empress, but not everybody gets to because of the Empress energy. Because you're very discerning, right? But let's see. This is what they think about you. King of Pentacles. Maybe we'll get something pretty deep here. I don't know. I hope it's not just superficial. Come on, universe. Give me something good. What do they think about my viewers? Uh, it's crossed by the Page of Swords. They think... Uh, this could also be... Oh, this could also be somebody lying about who they are or what they are. It could be that too. Okay? So keep that in mind. Especially if it's somebody new. Not necessarily if it's a runner you already know about. Okay? Uh, they think that they're going to disappoint you. The environmental energy is they think that they're going to disappoint you. Okay? You, they feel small next to you. All right? We'll put it that way. What's on top? Temperance. But you're their angel. You're, they think that, again, you, you represent to this person a lot of healing. Okay? You're the real deal. Can I put it that way? All right. Why is the uh, angel here? I just wanted to see what they think about you. That's all. And the Queen of Cups. Uh, again, uh, they think you love them. Hmm? They do. But they also think if they told you the truth, you'd be disappointed and you wouldn't go for it. It's exactly, this card is crossing here is exactly why the lies happen. Why they say what, what they need to say to benefit them. Right? And why we have a false victory here. Five of Swords. You get what you want. Yes, but... Somebody's hiding something. This card is red with these, and it will stab them in the it will stab them in the foot. It always does. You can lie to somebody to get in their pants. Just using that as an example, you can, but nothing long term can come of it. You can't keep up two things. Eventually, this is going to get found out. Why is the five of swords here? Right. This can also be. I'll give you another angle on the energy, just in case. For, for a few of you, this might be the case. For a few of you, um, somebody's married and their person doesn't want them to talk to you, so they're sneaking around, right? And, and they might tell you, they might lie to that person. And they might even still lie to you and tell you, well, no, no, they were okay with it. We had a talk. Okay, that's possible too. Tell me about the Five of Swords. What's the final final on this? We got communication here, but it's a false victory for reasons I've already explained. Why is the Five of Swords here? What's the final final on this? Yeah. It's crossed by the Page of Wands. You know, again, it's some, It's sort of like the plan of a child. Right? A 12 year old not very good at making plans. It's not, you know, it, it's, it's short sighted. Can we put it that way? It is. But it is communication. It is. It proves that this is communication. What's on top? The devil. Again, Backing up everything I said about the devil here. It's right there. It shows up. Somebody, I'm not going to re-explain. I've already explained it. Right? I don't need to go through all the scenarios again. Why is the devil here? Because you're the empress. And I was just talking about the empress. Didn't I say you guys often reflect as empress in my readings? And the empress can see through this bullshit? Right. Why is the devil here? Because you're the empress. And they think that if they tell you the truth, it'll disappoint you. Or they won't get in your pants. With that page of swords that was crossing there. The whole reading just connects all the way around. So watch it again. Watch it a few times. Everything I explained here and here. I gave you a few different scenarios. All of it. But here you are. You're this. That's why they have to tell these lies. That's why that they do it. Because they think if they tell you the truth it'll disappoint you. Or you won't want to be with them. You probably wouldn't. The Empress probably isn't going to take that frumpy green dress off for somebody who's still given to something else. That wouldn't be very Empress-like. So, the devil comes in and sort of magically transforms them into something that they think the Empress would like. So you're going to have to be in this energy. You're going to have to pay attention. Read between the lines. Ask the questions. You follow? Okay. Alright. Do what you want to do. Knock yourself out. Look, you can bang this person if you want. 
Have fun. I'll, you can do anything you want like that. Bang in a bar, parking lot, still be the empress. As long as you know why you're doing it. And you're not delusional. Then, if you're delusional, you, do, you drift out of empress. Right? The empress does not blindly believe what everyone says. She do, he or she does her own research. Does their own research. Okay? I'm giving it to you here. Take it for what it's worth. All right? But there's a strong chance for poor communication. It, it really is. From who? Uh, it could be a runner for some of you. It could be somebody new around you. Like I said, this could be somebody, again, you don't even know yet. And you will. Mm. What else you want to tell my viewers, universe? Give me three cards and a crossing card from the bottom. What else you want to do? Okay. All right. Okay. Nine of Wands. Is that just one card? Okay. Nine of Wands. Sun. Judgment. And the moon crossing the sun. Why does this person... I'll just paraphrase it. Why does this person feel this way about you? Feel this like fear of missing out with it, with these deep emotions? Because you're a divine couple. You're the sun and the moon. And the problem is this other person has put up a wall to their inner work. They haven't really risen like a phoenix yet because they're defensive towards it. They've got a defensive barrier. They've got a wall up. They would take care of this and break free, whatever that is, if they take this wall down. The good news is they might learn a lesson from what happens here in May and eventually, and then take that wall down. And then this person rises up to their true potential. But you guys are, I'm talking about a divine couple here. The sun and the moon. Okay? So, that's your reading. Hmm. Wow. You are very mysterious to this person as well. I will say that. I will say that. There's something, they're just, I don't want to say curious about you, but there's, there's something they, they, that they just don't get about you. Okay? There's something about this. I'll just call it that. You can take it however you want to take it. All right? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Uh, this should have been. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right? Good luck.